Hi guys, it's Autumn from It's Always Autumn. I just wanted to show you one of the new guided edits available in Photoshop Elements 15. To look at all of the different guided edits, just open your photo and then click Guided up at the top. And that'll bring you to a menu that shows you all of the different guided edits that are available. There are some basic edits that help you with things like brightness and contrast, correcting skin tone or cropping your photo. There are color edits that can boost the color or add some fun effects. There are black and white edits that help you with easy black and white conversions. There are photo merge edits that actually help you merge two photos into one, which is really cool. And then there are some other special and fun edits. Um, a lot of these we've seen in earlier versions, but there are some brand new ones in Photoshop Elements 15. And this painterly edit is the one that I want to show you today. You just click on that. The nice thing about all of these guided edits is that over here on the right are step-by-step -step instructions, which make it really easy for you to follow. While the application's doing all of the hard work behind the scenes, you're just doing easy stuff. So the first thing to do is click on paintbrush. As soon as we do that, our photo is obscured a little bit. Um, and as we hover over it, we can see a brush stroke. As we click down with that brush stroke, we start to reveal our painting. Uh, we have some options. We have some different sorts of brush strokes we can use depending on the look we're going for. We can change the size of the brush stroke, have some smaller. Uh, we can change the opacity of the brush stroke so that some areas don't get quite as revealed, which is kind of fun. You can also change the angle, which is the one I like to switch up the most because that really makes things look different, um, makes it look more organic and less like you used a computer program to do this. Okay, so we just keep clicking around until we feel like we like how our photo looks. I'm going to reveal just a little bit more. And then we can scroll down to the next step. We can select a canvas color. This is going to be our background color. So we can play with what this will look like with a black background or a white background. Or we can even use the eyedropper tool to click somewhere on our um, on our photo and get a custom background. I think for this one, I like it if it matches his hat. And I think that looks the most realistic. Okay, the next step is to add some texture. These are fun. They just make it look like, again, this is more of a painting. We can click through some different ones and see how they look. We can change the opacity of the texture as well to get the look we're going for. This one down here looks kind of like canvas. And this, I think, is my favorite one. It looks like a watercolor paper to me. And I like a strong effect on that. So if you look in the corners, you can really start to see that texture now. The last thing, which is optional, is we can add an effect to our painting. And once we click on one of those and give it a second, we'll see that it's really starting to look like a painting now. So we can just click through and see which one we like best. And they all look just a little bit different. I think I'm going to go with this one because I like how I feel like you can really see a lot of texture in the foliage and just in different areas. So the photo really looks like a painting now. At this point we click next down at the bottom and it gives us options to just save it as it is or to continue editing it in either quick or expert modes. The, you can also share straight to social media, which is pretty cool. I'm going to click expert mode here because what this will do is this will show you all of the different layers that are on top of your photo. This represents all the different work that you would have had to do um, by manually changing things like blending modes and adding effects and textures, which was all done really easily for you um, by Photoshop Elements. At this point, I can print this out. I would probably print it onto a watercolor paper and frame it and it looks just beautiful. It'd make a great gift.